Walking down the aisle, I see all of these different types of cooking salts, and it makes me wonder why. So I thought we should explore how different salt properties can affect the outcome of different cooking dishes. We have pink salt, table salt, and rock salt, all with different physical and chemical properties. Fun fact, when I was in high school, I was trying to understand what salt did to ice. So my silly tail self put it on both of my arms and gave myself frostbite. <sighs> I was always inquisitive. I just didn't always use it right. RSVP. Basically, the salt and ice is still in heat energy from the cream, which is exactly what happens when your best friend keep talking to you about that same dude who she not gonna leave alone anyway, and then you leave the conversation feeling drained and she leave the conversation feeling better because energy is neither created nor destroyed, it is only transferred. But that ain't my business. The table salt melted the ice the slowest and created the most soggy ice cream. The Himalayan pink salt is medium in texture, but still not as good as the rock salt. But the rock salt definitely worked the best. And the why is located in the caption, comments, or description. It tastes like a little bit of ice cream.